All right, start whenever you're ready. Okay. Hello. Okay. So, in the interest of time, we're going to try to demonstrate all these techniques to measure reactions of rate. Okay. So, if your reaction produces a gas, any gas, so something like uh, an acid plus a metal, okay, produces hydrogen gas for the chemistry girls. A carbonate and an acid produces carbon dioxide for the chemistry girls. You can take uh, hydrogen peroxide and decompose it, and it produces oxygen for the chemistry girls. Now, for the bio girls, I'm sure there's enzymes that produce a gas um, that you can measure. So this is one way to do it. Okay, so here's our setup. It's easiest if you have a ring stand with a burette clamp and a utility clamp. You take your handy dandy udiometer, you fill it with water up to the tippy top. You take another really large beaker of water You put your thumb over this, upside down, clamp it into place. This is where an octopus lady would come in handy. Keep your thumb on it, put it down in there, and see how it, okay? No liquid escapes. So, your reaction vessel is something like this with a stopper and a tube or maybe a test tube and a tube. Now remember ladies, the way you can change your reaction rate is probably the easiest are going to be concentration and temperature. So think about which one of these vessels would work better for which situation you want to do. Okay, so I'm just going to use this and you want to clamp it into place so it doesn't move around. And I'm going to do the acid and metal. Oh. So I'm going to put a certain volume of acid in here that I have carefully measured. This happens to be one molar hydrochloric acid. I'm going to make sure before I put the metal in there that this whole system is going to be connected. So this tube right here has to go up and into here. So it's somewhat tricky. So you have to make sure it's all ready to go. And I don't know if you can see, but my rubber tubing is inside my udiometer. Okay, so then... However you decide to time this, okay, so I can put my metal in here and it starts to bubble. I put the cap on. That gas is now being collected here and I can time how fast the gas is being produced. Okay, technique number one. 